I start with a piece of square paper, a round paper, very thin because I'll be cutting through eight layers. And I fold it three times so that I have a pie-shaped wedge. And I end up with this. And my customers tell me what they want. And I cut. What do you mean, what they want? I mean, you mean the subject matter? I started doing all these things with horses, which is what most of my artwork is. But I have customers who don't like horses, customers who like cars, or cacti, or dancing girls. And whatever they'd like me to do, I discuss the design with them and the colors. And I fold my paper and I put in whatever design they want. So they're not buying a piece of what I like, they're buying a piece of what they like. Once I've decided where the animals or the cars or the objects are going, I cut out basically what we've decided. And then I have to embellish. And the embellishing is fun. And then when I open them up, I get them all finished cut. And this one's going to be two cats looking at each other, sitting down and playing. When they're all done and I open them up, after about 45 minutes worth of cutting, and yes, sometimes it is tedious. Every time I open them up, it's a surprise. It's like opening a present that I didn't know what was there. Because I know from teaching children, each child I teach comes out differently. In opening this delicate thing now, I notice that you're very careful, oh. of course, with the delicate... Uh, that, that the like origami paper actually. sticks, yeah. Does it ever rip off? Or do sure. you have to amend it or some way? I or? glue it back on and hope back. nobody notices. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But if they tell me, if they ask me, I mean, if the person who buys it asks me whether I made a mistake, I'll show them. Well, tell really, it's sure. not a mistake. It's, it's just mistake. one of the things that happens to the delicate material, I right. guess. Right. If you use rice paper, it doesn't quite stick so much. There seems to be a sizing in I the see. origami uh -huh, paper that uh -huh. sticks. And this is why my kids at school, they hold them up in the air and explain, expect them to open up immediately. And, uh, but it's very interesting this year at school, they laugh at me when I say they don't have to buy presents, that they can make these for presents. Yes. And one child mm -hmm. took me up on it mm -hmm. and brought it in framed, did several snowflake types, mm -hmm. put them together on one piece of paper and brought them in framed. Oh. And from then on, I don't think one fifth grader that I had all year bought a present. Is that right? and their parents were thrilled, mm -hmm. and I had two sure. twins come in and offer to make two and trade me for mm -hmm. one for a present mm -hmm. for their father, uh -huh. and I did. I made them do good ones, but crux of the matter, getting it glued down without making a mistake. <laughs> My kids always use too much glue, and lots of different ways have been suggested of gluing this, like spray glue well, that looks, that and looks glue very, sticks. Very, very lovely, though. I have found if I glue it down completely, as spray glue would do, the paper doesn't live. The paper has a life of its own. Uh -huh. And I like it just to be tacked down. Mm -hmm. 